Good morning. Looks like I've been to the gym and I haven't. We were running late this morning. It is pirate day at Kindy and my son, that's great. He wanted to wear his Peter Pan outfit. So we done that. I made him an eye patch. I made him a sword. My dining table is covered in cardboard and alfoil. Uh, a little miss though. We, we wanted to be a mermaid and then we wanted to be Anna Elsa and then we wanted to be Elsa and then we wanted to be R. And it was a, a little bit of a nightmare. Um, so she's gone to, I think my dog wants to come in. Oh, she does every time. I'll keep chatting first. All right, so she ended up going as Elsa, done her hair, she was really happy, but we we got out a bit late this morning. Uh, so walk is going to happen. It is going to happen this afternoon because where I am, it is spring. But the days at the moment are feeling like summer. It's getting really warm. So I will go this afternoon before I pick the kids up. So it'll be a little bit cool in the afternoon. But that is why I look like I may have been for a run, but I haven't. But if it helps motivate you, then it does. If you can hear my dog scratching, she needs to come in. I'm going to let her in, turn you around and show you the grocery haul for today. I am also going to share with you things I have really been loving from Coles. There have been times where I bought something new and I'm like, I'll get back to you. And I do get back to you, but it's in a random vlog when I'm cooking it or a random Instagram post or chat I'm having. So today I thought I would go through, some of the stuff is in here, but some of the stuff I'm just gonna talk you through and I'll try to find the picture on Coles and insert it for you up here somewhere so you can see what I'm talking about. But some things have been hit and miss, but I thought I would share with you the things that I am really, really enjoying. Most of them are a great price point, so very family friendly. Those that are very budget conscious, or those that just want to know the things that I have tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and really like. I do have things that I haven't loved, so I might do that in another video if you're interested. My dog just let herself in, so I need to go close the door before the cat gets out. Sorry, the cat got out. And if you have followed me on Instagram for a while, you would know we have, we had, we had two beautiful cats, beautiful cats. Unfortunately, over a period of time, we had one that was the bestest friend to our dog. He passed away due to a dog incident. They were inside outside cats. So we're determined with this cat here, they've all been rescue cats. We're determined with this cat here that he is an inside cat. He does not want to be an inside cat. Uh, so I've gone on and bought him like a cat harness. Yeah, I got him a cat harness and a few other bits and pieces. So I'm actually going to do a video on things I've gotten from eBay. I've done one ages ago, but again, we're not here for that. We're here for a grocery haul. So do you remember last week how I bought three of these? <sighs> Bang on this week. So I bought another three. I reckon probably once a month I'll do four just to top up. So we're a little bit ahead. I'd, I'd hate to run out of milk because my kids love cereal. The odd Milo. I have a morning coffee um chicken chicken this week i've grabbed what is it a kilo 1.3 kilo so full chicken breast i am going not today because i've got too much on today i'm going to cook two chicken breasts poach them in a little bit of water or in water on a low simmer till they're cooked through cook them poach them poach cook them if that makes sense once they're cooked i'm going to shred them Porch them up into two separate bags and freeze them. Freezing cooked shredded chicken, I can do chicken pizzas. I can pull them out to do shredded chicken sandwiches. We can do chicken wraps. I can heat it up in a frying pan with some taco seasoning and we can do chicken burrito, taco bowl things. Um, very, very versatile. The other two, I'm going to freeze raw, just in one Ziploc bag. I'm going to freeze them raw and I can use those for my jarred sauces, my sweet and sour chicken, my korma chicken, or if I want, I can take them out and make my creamy mushroom dish again or I can like slice them put some sauce or homemade marinade on them and put them on the barbecue and fry them off plenty of options there so I grabbed those chicken breast is actually cheaper where I am per kilo than chicken thighs and I know how to cook chicken breast really well so it's not dry and tough so I've got chicken breast but I thought thighs would be cheaper but I'm guessing thighs have become the popular piece of chicken now. It's amazing how things can like move around. I've also grabbed some chuck casserole steak and you're probably thinking it's, it's like you're in spring, why did you get casserole steaks? 
I am not going to make a casserole. I want to slowly braise and cook it in a homemade marinade. Maybe it's a soy sauce based one. Maybe it's a um, gravy based one, a tomato based one. I'm not too sure. I need to think it through and figure it out. But I want to cook it because chuck steak like pulls apart kind of like a pulled pork. So I want to cook it and shred it all up. And then we can make, again, my dog and cat are playing. <laughs> I want to use it to have on sandwiches or wraps, or we can use them instead of like pulled pork in the sweet potato. I can do pulled beef in the potato and we can add them for a range of things. I can still make homemade pies with them. Very versatile. And that was on sale this week at Coles. I almost bought two packets and I was like, no, just pair it back a bit because the price point was just getting too high with everything overall. And that's just reminded me guys, I did not show you what I spent this week. So this week here I spent, let's see if I can get it nice and clear for you. I spent $157.51. Coles had a $10 off coupon this week. So it was spend $150 and get $10 off. It was a Father's Day thing and they have it this week. It's a football thing this week. So I got $10 off. So technically I spent $167. I paid $157. And I got some things on sale this week too. So I was really happy with what I got. This is a treat for myself. These yogurts, these are really, really nice gourmet yogurts. Um, while I'm editing this video, I'm actually going to have a cup of tea, one of these, and my favorite, well, my absolute favorite biscuits are the Caramel Tim Tams. They are my favorite biscuits, but these ones here are really, like, very, very, very close second, and these were half price. So I got a whole packet, I think, for like a dollar or $2.20 or something, I can't remember. But they're a nice thin little biscuit, so it's easy to have a treat and not get too carried away. So I did grab those this week, so maybe two, three of those with my yoga and a cup of tea while I edit today's video for you. Now, salami, I could just sit there and eat the salami as a snack. Can you hear my cat crying to get out? He's so desperate to get out and I just can't bring myself to let him out at the thought of a third cat being an inside outside cat and he doesn't come home. We've had two phone calls it's been over a couple of years from a vet saying we have your cat and it's just not a not a nice thing I want to do with him but he's like he's desperate to get out. He screams at me some days to want to get out. Sorry grocery haul. Um, I could sit there and eat this salami and, and just like pieces and enjoy it. Probably sounds a bit gross now that I'm talking about a, my, my cat and now salami. I grabbed more salami. I'm getting way off track. Um, I got the kids strawberry yogurt this week. Last week they had custard, which we still have half of <laughs> half of two liters left. We've got a liter left. The week before I bought, I'm pretty sure it was the mango one. Now the mango one, some bits were like really soft and some of the actual mango chunks were like in a square and they got stuck. Let me show you. I got the cinchy pouches. I just washed a few up this morning from yesterday's morning tea. These are the cinchy pouches. I love these and we, oh, I have had these for about six months and I reckon we have had a cinchy pouch almost every day or I have filled them up and they are just very, they're, they're so handy. I don't know if you can actually see, there's like two, if I can try and get to focus on there a bit better for you, there's actually two seals. So when you like seal it across, it's sealed. And if you try and get your kids to pull it apart, it's very hard for them to do. But this little nozzle up here, it's a great size. The strawberries get through it because they're quite soft. The mango was a little bit hard and I, the kids struggled to get the mango chunks through. So the custard we're gonna keep doing. This brand, the Yoplait strawberry one, I'm gonna keep doing. I think I might need to find another brand of yogurt with a different flavor for the kids though. Um, cause the mango one, it didn't work in those cinchy pouches very well. Just being honest. Um, olive oil. This is the brand of butter or olive spread that we really like, believe it or not. And it's a very cheap price point. Um, there are other ones out there that are super expensive. I used to buy the massive, can anyone remember? I think it was like one kilo or two kilos of butter, the Coles brand. If I can find it, I'll leave a picture up here because it is, I think it's like a dollar eighty, and I think you get one or two kilos. It is a great price point. If you are making a lot of sandwiches or you're trying to find a cheaper price point in your groceries, 
This here is amazing. It's a massive tub. My husband and I didn't love the flavor of it. My kids didn't really care, so I could probably buy that for them for school next year and they wouldn't mind. Um, my husband used to buy, the, I can't remember the brand, but it was a very expensive olive oil spread. He prefers olive oil spread. I actually prefer real butter, believe it or not. But this was a great compromise. He really enjoys this spread here. Um, if you know my husband, he has a bit of bread with his olive spread. Like he eats a lot of it. Um, it's, uh, I don't know what else to really say. It's a great price point. He really enjoys it. Should I find the price point for you and tell you? Just in case you want to know what I'm talking about and whether you think it's worth maybe switching if you're trying to find uh, like a different, am I thinking, like how to reduce some money from your grocery bills. Do you think I can find it in my receipt anywhere? Um, I find these receipts a bit confusing sometimes. Let me see if I can find it. Found it. Coles Dairy Olive Oil Spread. I don't know why it's dairy. It says vegan. That's <laughs> a bit weird, but on my receipt. Here it is here on my receipt. I don't know if you can see it. Let me just see if I can focus in for you. It says Coles Dairy Olive Spread. Anyway, not the point. The point is to let you know what I pay. The olive spread is $2.15. That's actually gone down. It was $2.20. It's a really great price point for an olive spread because some of this stuff here can be about $4 a tub. And we go through it a lot in our family. So this was a great little way of bringing the cost down and things. Um, frozen blueberries. I was planning on making some uh, blueberry muffins the other day. It didn't happen, but they were half price. I wanted to stock up on those there. Uh, and then down some of the, the fresh produce. Strawberries are still a really great price point at the moment. They're $1.50, so I grabbed two punnets. Two punnets is great to get us through the week. Um, but I did treat the kids this week to some blueberries. Now, where I am, I think these were $1.90 a punnet, which is really cheap because they were about $4.90 a punnet. Now, I was going to get raspberries, but they were $6 something a punnet. And my son could eat two punnets a day. So it's blueberries and strawberries. Uh, plenty of kiwi fruit. I think you got like five for $2 or something like that there. My son loves kiwi fruit and so do I. I peel his and cut it up, but I actually eat my kiwi fruit like an apple. This is really weird. I said on my Instagram stories, the cat, the cat is dying to get out. Um, <laughs> I eat my kiwi fruit. Literally, I just give it a wipe to get the fur off and I'll like eat it like an apple. And the same as tomatoes. I will sit there and just eat a tomato like an apple. Bit of salt on this and it's really, really nice. My dad just done it and I think I just grew up doing that as well. M might sound a bit weird to some people. Um, and then bananas, got my bananas. I'm just trying to find my other fruit here. Uh, an orange for little miss. Son doesn't love oranges, that's fine. And then a couple of apples for my husband for the week. I've been buying a lot of apples and I think my kids are over it. They're over apples. So this week we're going to focus on more of our veggies. So some carrot sticks. I've got two cucumbers, some cucumbers, and they love tomatoes. So I'm going to got some cherry tomatoes. Uh, now I also got a lot of stuff to make salads this week. And salads, this is, salads don't have to just be lettuce, tomato, cucumber, and some onion. I do a lot of different salads in spring and summer. And that includes anything from like beans. I do a really nice bean salad. I put in some shaved almonds or some almond flakes with it. A nice warm vinaigrette salad dressing. It's real. It's a really nice veggie salad, salad to have. Um, up the back you'll notice I've got a four bean tinned mixed here. I make a really nice tangy bean salad. Lasts for days in the fridge. You can add parsley to it, spring onion, corn, and I have a nice sort of tangy dressing that goes with that there. Sometimes I'll add in olives into some of my salads. I've also got a really nice cherry tomato, uh, not feta, halloumi salad I make. So a lot of this stuff I purchase. I, this was on sale. I can't remember how much it was. I love having this jar here in the fridge. If I buy them fresh from the deli, they don't last as long. This one here lasts quite a while. And this sort of stuff for me just spices up a salad. I've also got a, in next week's groceries that are coming, pearl couscous, which is like a larger 
couscous and I make a really nice again it's like a capsicum couscous corn and it's a really nice salad to have so if you're vegetarian you could just like have the salad I usually serve it up we have like a barbecue I might cook up like, some steak or some chicken we've got leftovers in the fridge and I'll just like make a bunch of salads up to have on the side if you don't love to make salads or you are time poor this is just part of the range that Coles has so you guys I think I buy this every second week and I really like it and it's a great price point it's four dollars it comes with a sauce and it comes with some crunchy noodles this is my favorite one it's I don't know what to call it the family Coles kit salad kit where you find it in Coles I don't know it might be like in the pre salad made salad sections but they do a whole bunch of ones they do a beetroot one they've got an italian inspired one i think so if you don't love making salads or you want some different ideas your time port whatever it might be i don't think it's a bad price point to do so this is one of my love go-to salads what i usually do is i halve it so half the packet i'll make into like the saucy coleslaw and then the other half i'll just keep raw and then i'll use that with some shredded chicken coleslaw wrap for lunch or we'll use that when I do my lamb beetroot burgers I have a video on that I have shared it before so I break it down so I'm spreading it further because we do get leftovers and then after like three four days uh, no one really wants to eat three or four day coleslaw mix that's what I do with that one there so I really like that kit uh, and then I, I still like having just your lettuce. So I only bought an iceberg lettuce this week. It was $1.90. They have been really expensive. I have not purchased any spinach and I have not purchased like any mixed lettuce. I'm going to buy another iceberg lettuce, I think next week, and then maybe go back to the mixed salads because I've got a lot of these sort of a salads I want to make up if that makes sense at all. Uh, veggies are pretty as per usual. I got a zucchini this week. I got an avocado. I am going to do, so I freeze my avocados. So if this one here doesn't get eaten, probably in the next two to three days i'll chuck it in the freezer and then i'll make up like a homemade guacamole when it's time to cook it i am doing a taco burrito bowl mexican inspired dinner hence why i got the kids some cc corn chips on the back there so i will use one from the freezer and i will do my best to film it for you so you can see when it thaws out it still holds its shape really well but it does probably get a little it, it loses the firmness to it it's got a little bit more water in it because when you freeze it water gets trapped in it um but i will show you how i make it using my with frozen avocados let me just spin you around now and let's just see if i have an avocado in my i do i've got two avocados see so i freeze them let me just put the camera around so I can see myself and what I'm doing. There we go. So I've got two avocados and I've got frozen spinach here. That's what I make the kids whole pancakes with. The spinach that's starting to go a bit manky. I just freeze and make their pancakes. I've got two frozen avocados. So if your avocados are starting to turn, put them in the freezer. I also had the other week some of the kiwi fruit. My kids go through phases when they love something and then they don't. And he decided kiwi fruit was not his thing so i've actually bagged it up and frozen it i'm going to use that for smoothies in the coming weeks so there if you have avocados don't throw them out when they start to go a bit too soft and you're not going to use them in, in the next like day or half an hour because we know how avocados work chuck them in the freezer whole just put them in and i'll do a video this week and i'll share with you how i make it work um soy sauce no one in our family is allergic to soy so i grabbed a bottle of soy sauce this is great for marinades, honey, soy, chicken, marinade, honey, soy, garlic, ginger, marinade. I made a really nice soy sauce with those rice paper rolls. I forgot to film it, but we were out. This was the cheapest per 100 gram bottle. Um, this, this one will expire in 2022. The bottle we used the other week expired, I think, in 2016. I didn't tell my husband. And it was fine. We were all healthy. Uh, and that was $8 there. So that was the cheapest I could find there. Cat food, dog food, pretty self-explanatory. I found a recipe to make your own homemade seasoning. And they sprinkled it on top of their salads, chicken for seasoning. I think it was quite like you could like cream cheese bagels. So I've got bagels in the freezer from Costco still. Um, it's kind of like anything 
but the bagel seasoning, I think it's called in America. I think it was something similar. I don't know, I could be wrong. I'm hoping I saved the recipe, but I bought black sesame seeds. I bought garlic granulated, so kind of like garlic chunks, garlic flakes, dehydrated. Um, proudly, oh, proudly packaged in Australia. I thought it was Australian um, produced. Where is it made? I love how they don't say where it's made these days. Uh, added to your favorite, grown with integrity, sourced with pride. That doesn't really tell me much. Packaged in Australia with ingredients from China. Packaged in Australia with ingredients from China. There you go, Master Foods is from China. Onion flakes. So I needed onion flakes, I needed garlic granulas. It was actually more cost effective to buy in the large containers. I could have bought it in the small ones. So I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this. Um, poppy seeds, and I think the other ingredients I already had in the pantry. I'm hoping I've kept this like mixed rub, I don't know what to call it, but it sounded really good. Um, our usual like carrots, broccoli, onions, I was almost out of onions, so I stopped with some onions, and mushrooms. We might do some omelets this week with breakfast, so do some omelets up. Potatoes, they were the cheapest price point of potatoes this week, so I grabbed them. I don't care what potatoes we really eat, it's the cheapest price point. You probably haven't seen for a while sweet potatoes, because I was buying them at like a dollar, a dollar fifty a kilo. They're $4.90, and I'm kind of like stamping my foot down going, I ain't paying for that. But in saying that, I still had some in my pantry and I made my sweet potato brownie recipe the other day. Sweet potato brownie? Yep, sweet potato chocolate brownie recipe the day using a sweet potato. So I store mine correctly. I get like quite a few weeks out of them. Uh, never bought these before, but they were half price and I wanted to give them a go to see if my kids like them. Maybe for like lunch snacks next year. And if they're healthy, maybe I can snack on them. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. These were a cheaper price point than these. And my kids are probably going to love these a lot more than these, but we're going to give them a go. Um, I bought those nacho chips. We're going to try and do some Mexican-inspired dinners this week to share with you. I think I've shared these with you already. I did grab some marshmallows this week. I make my own homemade like LCM bars, like those rice bubble bars. So much cheaper to make your own and then purchase the ones from the store. And I'm using so much less packaging. Like that's the only packaging I've got. And then with the rice bubbles, the box, we reuse the box, we draw on them, we decorate with them. And then there's a plastic bag that the, the rice bubbles come in and then I need butter. That's it. It is really simple. I'm hoping I've shared it on a YouTube video before. If not, I'm gonna make an effort to film it this week. I need to write things down on things I need to film and share with you guys. I'm gonna try and share that with you this week. I've just made a bar, a block of it yesterday. Kids love it, absolutely love it. Great snack or treat at school. I'm happy to make it. I make it in a big slab and it lasts us plenty, plenty of time. I'll probably eat it more than the kids because I really enjoy it. Um, and then some gloves. I won't share with you the story with the gloves. My husband used them for something and then threw them out. And for weeks and weeks, I looked. Sorry guys, my camera just died. Um, my gloves, I swear I bought these a few, like a month or two ago. I did, my husband used them and thought they were too dirty and threw them out. So I had to buy another pair. My hands are really dry with using so much hand sanitizer and washing out throughout the day with the kids. So I, this, I find them really handy to have and these are a really good brand. Um, probably the last thing in this grocery haul I can share that I'm absolutely loving and I'm guessing you know it by now is this bread. This bread stays fresh on our bench for a good couple of days. It is great in the fridge. It keeps its shape in the freezer. It doesn't get like that waterlogged and go like crusty and yuck. So when you take it out, heat up in the microwave to defrost it, put it in the toaster to cook it, leave it on the bench to thaw for like 20 or 30 minutes. It comes out really, really good. My son, I think like a lot of children, I don't like crusts. And I've been trying to work, he ate the crusts off this the other day. So what I done is I just folded the sandwich and he ate all around the sandwich like that there. And he's like, mum, this is really nice. So even like the crust on here, they are really, really soft. So the Abbott's Bakery bread, we are absolutely loving. Okay, so let me run through some of the other things that we are loving, that, or that I'm really enjoying. The Coles Home Brand 
chicken nuggets. They are really nice. They have a really nice crumb on them. They cook up really well. My kids love them. My kids actually prefer them than the McDonald's ones. The McDonald's ones, I think, is it the McDonald's ones I'm thinking of? I think it's the McDonald's ones. They're more like a batter, where the Coles ones are crumbed. They're a crumbed chicken nugget. Are they chicken bread? I don't know. But the ingredients in them are pretty good. The price point of them are really good. So we love the Coles brand chicken nuggets. Let me try and find an actual photo of it so you can see what I'm talking about. I think it's $4 a box. I could be wrong. I'll try and put the price in as well for you. you guys would have seen me mention this kit here. I think these are great. I love the flavor of this one here. I think it's a great, easy, you want to cook something up. If you, if you work full time and you don't, and you are time poor, going to the store and buying a hot chicken, that coleslaw mix, having some pre-made ch uh, chips in your freezer, that's the next thing I'm going to show you, and you can serve a pretty good dinner quite quickly. I think that's pretty good. So next was the frozen chips. These here... This is the brand. Sorry if it's noisy. These are the Coles. I can't read back to front. The Coles something straight cut chips. These work out to be $1.50 or $1.90 a kilo. Sometimes you can't buy unwashed, uncut, unprepped potatoes for the same price as these. These cook so well in the oven. I don't have an air fryer, we just use the oven. I season this with chicken salt. They're great. I could basically cook this whole bag up, cook some fish fillets, and we could have fish and chips in the backyard, and my whole family would eat it. These are great, and the price point of them, if you want a convenient food or an easy to cook meal, or your kids love chips, or you want to do a fake away one night, Cook some of them up with some chicken nuggets. Now, I love the Herbert Adams range. Now, I usually get the pies, the meat pies, um, the chunky beef, beef, chunky steak pies. I try and buy them only when they're on sale. But they're like, they're the kind of pie, and you can get them from Woolworths as well. Eldies have their own version, and they're not too bad. They're, I think they're pretty close. I have tried them. Um, but these are just like pies you get from a bakery. They, they are so yum. They do chicken and leek. I think they do mushroom chicken. They do a curry flavored one. We love them. I would get more flavors in them, but my husband's a bit more of a, he's a steak pie kind of guy. Um, so the Herbert Adams range I think is amazing. I have tried their vegetarian pasties before. Look, they were really nice. Um, we're, we're not probably inclined to eat that kind of a food from there. I would make my own. But the pies, again, if you were time poor, when they go on sale, just grab a couple of boxes and chuck them into your freezer. Serve it up with some mashed potato, some frozen peas and corn that you've cooked or heated up, and you're done. It's great. My kids love them. I used to be able to get the mini pies of the Herbert Adams range. Um, I can't find them at Coles at the moment. And my son, so last night for dinner, we had meat pies. My son had six mini meat pies and mashed potato and peas and corn and I think a little bit of carrot. Uh, he eats, he loves meat pies. So I buy the Coles, the Coles home brand one. I'll try and find it again here for you. I think you get a pack of 24 and these ones work out, it might be more than 24. These ones work out even cheaper compared to when some of the other brands, Ellen J, I think it might be, when they go half price, the Coles ones are still cheaper. And I cooked these up when we had our meat pies last night and they are crispy, they are yum, they have mince in them, so it's not chunky bits of steak, it is a mince meat pie. My son loves them, absolutely devours them. So those there we do buy on the regular. Well, I stock up when we get low, I buy them again. Uh, not really a Coles brand thing, but the Maggi two minute noodles, the chicken flavor one. My kids love them, I love them. We did try the Coles home brand. Not gonna lie, not the biggest fan of them. They are a different taste. My kids could tell the taste was different. They didn't love them. They were a much cheaper price point though, like a much cheaper price point. So if you're trying to cut down on a cost and your kids love two minute noodles, try the Coles brand. A few of you have said you really liked them. I didn't mind them. My ki 
kids didn't want to buy off them. They prefer the Maggi ones. The Maggi ones, look, they're not too bad. It's $8 for the big packet I get. Um, but my daughter could ask for two at noodles almost every night. And some nights I give them to her with veggies on the side. She's going through that horrible phase of being really picky with her food. Um, so... The Maggi 2 minute noodles, unfortunately, are going to stay, but I can't fault them. I really like them. I have shared other things with you today that we really like our olive oil spread. Um, I love the Coles tinned range. They're tinned tomatoes. They're tinned fruit. I can't really fault them, and it's the cheapest range you can get from Coles. Um, is it all Australian? I don't know. Has it got added ingredients in it to compared to an organic one? Yeah, probably likely. Um, but we buy the home brand ones and I love them. The quality inside is really good and they cook up really well. So I'm just sharing my opinions on what I think of the food we've gotten. I hope you have enjoyed today's grocery haul. If you have something from Coles or Woolies or Costco's or Aldi's or if you're in America, there's somewhere else. I've got a couple of UK followers now too. Quite a few UK followers now too. What store do you shop at and what are the top three things that you will just keep going back to? I'm not talking like milk, but if there's like a flavored milk and you're obsessed with it, or if there's a type of bread and you're like, this is the holy grail of breads, share it below because some people are looking for different things to try, cheaper options to try, or tried and tested things. And this sounds silly, but not being paid to do it. I don't get paid to do this. I do it to share it with you guys to try and save money and get the best bang for your buck, to be honest. And it's good food. So if you have any things that you can share below, share them below. I will have a look over them. If I can try and purchase this, purchase them from where I am, I might try and do that in the next week or two. I do need to go to Costco's maybe next week. Um, there are some nappies that I can't get at my Coles here. They're just in such short supply. And Costco's have them. I bought that membership at the start of this year. So I'm like, I've got the membership. I may as well pop up there. I thought the car with some petrol on there too. But that is today's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And we will talk soon. Bye.